Hello Internet! Welcome to this quick walkthrough tutorial of the newly released robot rig. I'm just going to quickly uh, show you a bunch of tricks that I've uh, learned while animating with this character and also where you can find the most basic switches and um, just a few extra things in order to make sure that the first steps you take with this character are going to be as easy as possible, okay? So let's start from the head down. We, um, we have a head that um, when, when you first load the rig, you, you can't move it, right? You can just, just rotate it. So what you, uh, whenever you want to switch uh, a space or whenever you want to do a change to the rig, the, the first place you want to look at is on, this, uh, on these control um, uh, switches here. You have the head, you have the chest, arms, and legs, and then you have this overall switch right here where you, you're able to change the scale of the character or um, you can change a bunch of visibility stuff and everything. But if you want to go in and you want to maybe add a little bit of uh, like extra motion to your um, to your head by translating it, you just select it and then you go to next stretch on, right? And then that's something that you can do right here. Um, there's also really cool extra air controls for um, some overlapping action and then the eye control. Currently, there's no uh, texture attached to this, but I'm um, sure um, we will find a way to make that work. So the arms, they arrive in IK, but obviously you can just switch them into FK if you'd like right here. And then you can also switch their spaces what, what, what they follow and uh, what they don't follow with those controls. Something that is super interesting with this character is that you can detach um, as limbs. And you can actually detach a lot of things. Like if I just select this, this chest piece, um, currently, if I rotate the chest, it's going to be part of it, like this breastplate. But if I switch the parent uh, space from chest to world, and then maybe I just move it out a little bit, you'll see that I can, I'll do the same with the back, just one moment, chest, world, and move it out. You can see I can kind of destroy this character and all his bits and pieces can stay um, on the on the ground, um, just, you know, laying all over if maybe he was shot or, or, or he is losing a bunch of pieces. I feel like this is a really cool feature. Um, you can also kind of use this if I just undo this. And then put it back to chest. You can also kind of, if you have more of these characters in your scene, you can maybe give one of one or two of them like a different character by having them, you know, like, like being a uh, a, a ragtag band of of rogue robots or something like you can change maybe their design ever so slightly even by having one of them maybe look like like that right uh, put that back into the center like so and then here this one as well so it gives you a bunch of freedom that i feel like is really really cool with this character you can play around with that a lot right and then you can also detach, detach their arms. Uh, detaching uh, doesn't happen on this uh, central uh, control down here, but it happens on the limbs themselves. So if I select these little lollipops here, I can move them freely, right? But something that you need to be wary of is that before you move them around, you need to switch their spaces uh, from upper arm to world or from rig to, to, to world, okay? You can also make sure that uh, st stretching is uh, on in case you want to stretch them. Um, but a really cool feature here is just being able to detach these characters and being able to, to maybe uh, creatively use their limbs. To, to create interesting poses. Here I have a, a character playing tennis with his own hand, kind of, right? And the way I did that was by detaching uh, the lollipop into the wor into world and then by constraining this control to his wrist, right? So I felt like that was uh, 
that, that just gives you kind of like limitless opportunity to um to to play around creatively with these rings um you can do the same thing with the legs obviously if you just go to world boom done same with the other one see if you uh if you don't switch the parent space to world it's gonna like, create those weird little things but just be mindful of that and then um then you can you can post this you know like that maybe put it on the ground because it was shot off like like so and then this one is maybe and then you can kind of um you know really creatively make this character your own something else that is really interesting is you can you can uh kind of ever so slightly uh translate these fingers and other parts of the limbs because they have these uh uh, little black like mesh kind of uh, connecting parts here right so you can just easily go in and um sorry i'm actually using the um it's actually detached right yes so one of the important things is if you detach it uh your hand controls become like these lollipops your finger controls and if you if you put it back if you reset this and put it back to um to rig You'll, you'll you'll be able to use these so you have these little mesh connections here between the, the the polygon body that allows you to kind of add like micro adjustments to your poses which i also feel like is a very uh neat little uh thing that you can do and then here definitely these um these extra little pelvis controls are are super cool to see something that you don't necessarily see with humans all right, so that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoy this character. It's uh, it's definitely a blast to work with. It's uh, it's super exciting to just use different parts creatively and and uh, and create little um, scenes that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do with with uh, characters where you can't detach uh, parts of the body. So I hope you enjoy, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing all the cool stuff that you come up with. All right, bye bye.